welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Taurus. So this is going to be a you and them love reading. I'll have your cards on one side and your person's cards on the other. This could be somebody specific on your mind, somebody connected to or coming towards you, depending upon your situation. For the main cards of the reading, I'll be using the Mystical Manga Tarot and the Fortune Telling Tarot deck by Yoshitaka Amano. If clarifiers are needed, the anime tarot. I'm recording this message for the energies of November, but I ask these readings to be timeless and give you something you need to hear when you need to hear it. So let's get started. Spirit, what is the heart of the matter? What is Taurus thinking overall about a connection or potential connection right now? What are some things going on in the daily life could be affecting this? What are you feeling in your heart space? What are you feeling? What intentions do you have towards this connection? And what is a potential outcome in the near future for whenever you are meant to hear this message? I do have a 10 of cups on the bottom of the deck and the star is like peeking out back here. I feel like, you know, there definitely could be somebody, somebody on your mind or maybe somebody that you're going to meet soon, depending upon your situation, of course, that really could be the Ten of Cups person. That Ten of Cups person for me is that person that just feels right, feels like home, it's emotional fulfillment, it's happiness for me, it's friends, it's romantic, it's somebody that's by your side. With the star energy kind of peeking out here, could have been a little bit kind of building up and getting to this point because you could have definitely been going through some things. But I feel like on some, you know, in some way, it's always kind of been leading you here. And I know that's a lot to get just from the first two cards, but the star is a powerful major arcana and it is some Somebody because the star comes after the tower. Somebody who's been through it. They've been through their share of things, but now they're figuring out who they are because of all that. They're rising from a difficult time. They're more aware of who they are and what they want. And as um, because of that, it feels like you're in that energy of really setting some intentions and, you know, feeling like, yeah, I'm going to open up my heart. I'm going to be myself, but it's got to be something that's right. It's got to be something that feels right from the heart. So I really like that for you, Taurus. Um, so Aquarius and Pisces energy could be significant here. Let's get the cards for your person. Now, there, I do have to say there's a lot of quiet energy on your side. So you could be feeling quite a lot. I don't know if you've talked about it. Let's go ahead and see what is going on with the person connected to or coming towards Taurus. What are they thinking overall about this connection or potential connection? What are some things going on in the daily life could be affecting this? What is happening in their heart space? How are they feeling? How are they feeling about Taurus? What do they like best about Taurus or intend towards them? What do they intend towards this connection? And what is a potential outcome in the near future for whenever you are meant to hear this message? Oh my goodness. Okay. And I don't know if you guys could see it, but this queen of pentacles just kind of like jumped out from the middle of the deck here. Somebody, Taurus, is definitely thinking about you. I feel like this is your energy or a beautiful match for your energy. Um, strong Capricorn here, Taurus and Virgo. But I feel like somebody's been thinking about you and they could be being a little quiet. We got a little bit of secrecy on your side, a little bit of secrecy on their side. I've got a hermit on the bottom of the deck. But look at this. Right behind that is the King of Pentacles. And I see a Knight of Cups peeking out and a chariot here as well. Every single card that reveals itself to me in a reading, I know is here for a reason. I think there's somebody that is thinking about you, Taurus. There's a lot of quiet energy here. I don't know if they've told you, but I feel like you're on their mind like crazy. They're wanting to, you know, really open up, tell you what they've been feeling and move something forward. But I definitely feel a little bit of hesitancy. Um, the energies here, strong Virgo, um, Cancer, Scorpio could be significant, but definitely somebody who I feel like is trying to decide exactly what to say or do, but um, ultimately, 
I feel like you're it. Like you're the only one for this person. So let's go ahead and talk about some of these cards. Heart of the matter for you, we have the magician. Aries, Gemini could be significant, but this is making something happen. It's almost like, you know, you know that if you want the love, the connection, the new love for some of you, or to connect with, talk to, or take things to the next level with somebody on your mind, there's something about getting really clear about what it is that you want. With the magician here, you could be thinking about somebody like crazy, to, you know, having strong feelings for them. All the aces are present, deciding, you know, exactly what to do or say next, or you could be manifesting something, like some sort of communication from somebody. Let's go ahead and see. I want to clarify around that magician. I'm curious what it is you are wanting to make happen here with this magician energy. Get a few jump out. Okay, we've got, oh my goodness, the emperor and the high priestess. Aries energy, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces for me with that high priestess, but some of you could be dealing with a strong soul connection. Some of you could be dealing with a little to no communication. Obviously, not all of you. All of you are in different places, you know, dealing with different kinds of connections. But the emperor for me in a love reading, emperor, empress, lovers, it's that person that you know. They're in your world for a reason. You met them for a reason. They stand out. I feel like beyond anything. And you just know, you know, for coming into this connection, being around them, being with them, everything's going to be a little bit different. Almost like you don't see things the same way. Now, some of you are manifesting this match, this person who, you know, is a beautiful match for your energy, somebody who's confident. You could be feeling like somebody really could be the one, but there's also something very quiet. We've got the high priestess here. We got the high priestess in your heart space, a lot of psychic energy, intuitive energy, but you might not to be saying anything about what you're thinking. Your person for the heart of the matter is the seven of swords. You've also got the seven of swords here. A lot of secrecy. Not really sure what's going on. We're going to see as the energies unfold, but it feels like there's a certain amount, element of secrecy, keeping some things to yourself, your person as well. You're on their mind like crazy, but there's something they have not told you yet. And I've got to find out. Spirit, why do we have the Seven of Swords? What is this person connected to coming towards Taurus being so secretive about? And we have the Ace of Wands. Look at the bottom of the deck. That is the Empress. My goodness. Okay, I'm almost distracted by the way like all these cards are just coming out. It's a lot of cards, especially just getting into like the very beginning of the reading. But I almost feel like something that has been quiet is like building up. And I mean, my goodness, some of you, you know, soulmate, twin flame, doesn't have to be. You know, these are general readings. They should meet you where you're at, resonate with your specific situation, however you see it. But you've got the emperor and the empress in the very beginning of this reading with this empress here on the bottom of the deck Taurus you know that's your energy Libra energy as well um could definitely be somebody feeling like you are the one you are the match can't get you off their mind but I don't know if they have any idea exactly how to express this it's clear they want to explore it I was asking what they're being secretive about and it's the ace of wands Aries Leo Sagittarius energy just how interested and attracted they are to you, wanting to initiate something, start something, take a step, make a move. There is something that is building up, something that this person is wanting to say or do. In your daily life, you've got the Seven of Pentacles, specifically Taurus energy, and this is a very patient energy, which is interesting because you've got some quiet energy here, you've got some healthy boundaries, you've got this energy of setting intentions for like, you know, what is really 
totally right. There could be somebody that you're psychically connecting with, with the high priestess, picking up on somebody's energy, but there's a very patient, stable energy in your daily life. The seven of pentacles is somebody who is waiting for the right time and right moment, but it's somebody who knows that they've put in the time, they've put in the energy and what they're waiting for is going to come to them. It is theirs. I feel like there is something that you've been waiting and hoping for, and you are right on the verge of it more than you even realize with this seven of pentacles. Your person has the four of cups in reverse in their daily life. And I have to say the four of cups in reverse actually better than the four of cups upright. Four of cups upright is somebody who is guarded, who's looking at what is not fully happy with the current situation, but not seeing the potential. The ace of cups, the universe is offering or not seeing the potential or maybe somebody who has missed an opportunity. For me, the four of cups in reverse, at least the way I'm getting it right here, is somebody who is looking up and opening their heart and realizing they don't want to miss this chance. They don't want to miss this opportunity. They're going to have to do something or say something if they're going to, you know, um, if they're going to have this, you know, this chance to experience something that they're clearly hoping for with you. And we have a five of cups, bottom of the deck, ace of pentacles, and look at what is right behind it, the star. We saw the star at the beginning of all this going on in your energy. Definitely could be something that is being mirrored in your persons as well. Now, as you both have star energy showing up and the star comes after the tower, in some cases, something could have happened between the two of you that kind of put you in different directions. Um, but I feel like both of you are kind of moving on from whatever that difficult energy is, figuring some things out, deciding what you really want. Now, if there wasn't any tower between the two of you, um, then maybe you both have some towers you've dealt with in the past that are making you a little hesitant when it comes to speaking up. But this person has an ace of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here on the bottom of the deck. There's something that they're wanting, you know, to do, to say, a step they're wanting to take. And I feel like it's definitely connected to whatever it is you've been hoping and waiting for here with a seven of pentacles. But we have the four of cups in reverse, clarified by the five of cups, which is kind of a similar energy, uh, more Scorpio energy here. But the five of cups is somebody who's so focused on the disappointments, the things that have happened, they can't see, you know, what is still standing. They can't see the potential. So I feel like this person doesn't want to miss an opportunity, but at the same time, it's like they don't even know if they have it. And maybe, you know, it's because the two of you haven't talked about this. In your heart space, you've got the high priestess. We talked about this because it showed up here in connection to this emperor energy. You could definitely be feeling like, you know, there is somebody, somebody in your world or somebody coming towards you could absolutely be a beautiful match. But I feel like you could be thinking and feeling a lot of things maybe you haven't fully expressed yet. When you get the high priestess, especially twice, I have to say your intuition is on point. Could be psychically communicating with somebody, could be dreaming about somebody. You've got the high priestess clarified by the page of swords, which is more, a little bit, honestly, I have to say secretive energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius could be curious about somebody. Um, could be honestly checking out each other's social media or stealing glances at one another, things like that. When you think the other isn't looking, you both could be very interested. Doesn't have to be, but can be with the Page of Swords. But the Page of Swords is somebody who is keeping something with, you know, within or holding something back until they get a little, at least for me in a love reading. All of these are different for every reader in every situation. But, um, Somebody who's holding back a little bit till they get a little more information. Somebody who wants to know. And we have a three of swords on the bottom of the deck. Libra energy here. I think if you've been holding back or if you've been quiet or if you've been trying to figure things out or get a little more insight, it's because you've been hurt. Maybe in this specific connection, maybe by something else in the past, but you don't want a repeat of that old pain. You want to know, you know, can I trust my intuition? Is this person also interested in me? Can it really go someplace? I feel like it definitely can, but there's, you know, gotta be, there's gotta be a little communication here. Your person has a 10 of wands, Sagittarius energy. This is somebody who's carrying a lot, dealing with a lot. And I feel like, you know, we all have 
have a lot on our plate. Sometimes it can be, especially showing up in the heart space, somebody who is throwing themselves into their work because they can't deal with like all the emotions that they're having, you know, maybe piling themselves up with other things, you know, because it's like they're overwhelmed by their feelings. But 10 of wands in the heart space can also be somebody who has carried feelings for you, maybe for longer than you even realize. Sagittarius, if I did not say it, but let's go ahead and see. Spirit, why do we have the Ten of Wands? It is somebody, yeah, okay, that wants to see something through. The Ten of Wands is definitely about completing cycles, seeing something through, getting to the place that you want, and we have a Nine of Pentacles here. Virgo energy could be significant. Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck could definitely be somebody wanting a chance, wanting some success in this connection, wanting to come forward, wanting to talk to you. Um, with the Nine of Pentacles, that is somebody who's finding their balance and their stability a little bit. Interesting, I just tripped on my words, suddenly got really thirsty. And sometimes that happens when like I'm picking up on really nervous energy. With a nine of pentacles, somebody could be curious about you, hoping that you're single, things like that. I also have to say the nine of pentacles is the energy that both people have to be in to attract and embody and embrace and experience a ten of pentacles because it's the next step. It's like you got to find a little bit of that stable, positive energy independently if you're going to share it with somebody. Somebody could literally be like working quite a lot with the ten of wands and the nine of pentacles, but it's because there's something that they're wanting to build with you. There's something that they're wanting to have and experience with you. Um, in some cases, somebody could even be working to, you know, free themselves up from a past situation with the Ten of Wands and Nine of Pentacles so that they're fully free to move towards you. But your intentions are the Seven of Swords. Once again, I feel like, you know, there's something that you could be holding in till the right time, till the right moment. And I look to see what your person was, you know, holding in with their seven of swords or being secretive about. And it was the ace of wands, which is how truly interested they are in you. Let's see what's going on with you. Spirit, why do we have the seven of swords for Taurus? Why do we have the seven of swords, eight of swords, judgment card on the bottom of the deck? My goodness, judgment card, powerful, powerful major arcana, emperor, empress, judgment. As I said before, I'll say it again, this could be a strong connection. In some cases, could be wanting to resurrect something, doesn't have to absolutely be that, but this is putting the past in the past, maybe having an open, honest conversation, your universe kind of blowing the trumpet, saying it is time for something decisive, but for you, we've got a seven of swords clarified by the eight of swords. Aquarius, Gemini energy. You could be keeping things to yourself because with the eight of swords, this is somebody who's going around in circles in their mind, but feeling stuck. Maybe you don't know what to say or do. Maybe you don't know how interested this person is in you, but your person's intentions are the three of wands, Aries energy. They want to explore this. They could be waiting or hoping for a message or communication. They could also be wanting to reach out to you, but this is something Somebody who's kind of over the planning phase and wanting to just get out there and see what can happen, to see where it can go. This is somebody who's seeing their ships coming in. I do feel like that, you know, you are definitely the person on the, you know, on their mind and they do want to see what can happen. They do want to see where this can go. Your potential outcome, we have the Seven of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Judgment card again, which is interesting because here is the Judgment card on the bottom of the deck connected to your intentions, which is, you know, waiting for the right moment, going around in circles in your mind, maybe trying to decide something, but here it is in your potential outcome. Um... So the signs real quick, Leo, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces can be significant here, but seven of wands, beautiful energy, healthy boundaries, taking the high ground, sorting some things out, figuring out what you, where your priorities are, saying no to things that don't serve. So you can say yes to what really matters, but it is connected to an ace of cups and a judgment card. Now, if some of you have cleared out some space, released some things from the past so that you could open up to something new, you definitely got something new coming towards you with the ace of cups. But many of you do have somebody specific on your mind. And I feel like, you know, there is somebody coming towards you with this ace of cups 
who is ready to say what has been in their heart. I feel like they've been carrying it in their heart. I feel like it's maybe been overwhelming to them. And I think they know, you know, they've got to, they've got to take a step. They've got to say something. And I do feel like they're also getting quite a powerful nudge from the universe to just go for it. With the Seven of Wands, Ace of Cups, and Judgment card, this is something being taken to the next level. This is an offer, and it is very much connected to you standing your ground, you know, taking a stand for what is important to you, even if it's just in your heart, you know, setting those intentions, knowing what you want. In some cases, this also could be, you know, Taurus reaching out to somebody with the Ace of Cups because it is kind of like facing your person's energy, but the Ace of Cups is falling. For me, it's falling in love or beginning to express and explore love. It's ex exploring your emotions. It can be a fresh start or a new beginning in a connection. It could be something new altogether, but your person, a lot of things came out. We have the Four of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. So it feels like a little bit of a journey here but with the final cards being the Seven of Wands. So we'll talk about these swords in a minute. The Seven of Wands, which is also on your side, connected to the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. It's clear to me that somebody is also kind of in that place of getting some things sorted out because you're the one that they see in their future. You're the one they want to be with. So Four of Swords and Ten of Swords, Libra, Gemini energy. There's a lot of quiet energy there. Now, remember, swords are thoughts, but the Four of Swords is somebody who's healing from something that has been painful. Somebody who's decided it's time to stop letting the past, letting the old hurts. It's sitting here next to a Five of Cups. Whatever happened in the past, to stop letting them run that, letting that run them. To kind of maybe put an end to thinking about things from the past. And the Ten of Swords, it definitely feels like the end of a painful cycle. Like a release. Like whatever this person had been so stressed and worried about, it feels like they're ready to kind of put that in the past. Now, some cases, this can be a little to no communication situation, but it is paired with seven, seven of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. So whatever all that mental energy is, I feel like it's somebody who wants to move beyond whatever was painful, whatever was difficult, if it was between the two of you or if it was whatever happened in their life, this is somebody who's also figured some things out and is taking a stand for what is really, you know, what matters most. You've got the seven of wands on both sides. With the seven of wands on both sides, I feel like both of you are thinking about what really matters and what is most important. And I think that, you know, you've got somebody on your mind, somebody you could really fall for with the ace of cups. And this person is thinking honestly about you. They feel like they could be the match for you. They feel like you could be the one. With the Ten of Pentacles, what they see in the future of the two of you, for me, that is a commitment. That is something lasting. That is something stable. That is somebody who really is ready to do whatever it takes to make this happen. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get a clarifier because it's clear this is somebody who's kind of processing, working through some things to get to a place where they feel like more ready for this. Wow. And it's interesting, right? As I said that, look at this. We got the seven of wands and here is the judgment card for the first, for the third time. Seven of Wands on both sides. There is something about, I feel like both of you, and I just said it, really figuring out what matters most, really deciding what you're willing to, you know, put your energy into and what you're not. And there's something about being aligned with divine and bringing in something that I feel like has always been meant to be with that judgment card showing up, like your universe is taking over. So I said, your person is planning something. Look at what we got the Knight of pentacles, specifically Taurus energy. And this is somebody who is a planner can be a little bit of a slow mover, but it is the night that crosses the finish line. I definitely feel like there's some sort of step that this person is planning to take towards you. Could even take you by a little bit of surprise if they have been quiet or if they have been, you know, moving slow, but they do see you as their match and they want to see where this can go. So I love it. If you enjoyed the message, please put a like. If you haven't subscribed, I would love if you would. Thank you so much.